Good morning and welcome. So this is a 28 year old boy, young Indian male who for his grade 4 male pattern baldness underwent a surgical hair restoration with us. With a mere 2400 scalp grafts, we were able to cover his frontotemporal points and his crown area. Lesser number of grafts were used to meet his goals and objectives in future. And it was also felt that using our Anagen Q plus technique, more grafts were not required at the moment. So it's after three years when these pictures are taken that he came back to us for further filling. So you can see the crown area though well covered, there is a see-through effect in the epicenter of the vole. Crown coverage, as we all know, we have discussed before in several videos before, and you can go through those videos in this compilation in the playlist. Crown coverage is an enigma both to the surgeon as well as the patient. Because crown coverage can never be done in full density. This has been clearly explained in this video. Crown results are never as good as the results of a hairline. And especially if we are doing large areas, extensive baldness areas, grade 6 and 7, coverage of the bald area takes precedence over density in the crown. Because in most instances, we run out of grafts to cover the crown area. Even if we do not run out of grafts, we have to cater for the enlarging crown area in the years to come. And whether we will have sufficient grafts to cover that area or not. Or will we leave the patient with a substantial island deformity at the back? So these are all the points which we have to keep in mind while planning to cover the crown area. So thank you for watching again. And if you have any questions, please drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to reply back. And God bless you.